Okay, I'm now going to show you how to use your financial calculator to get the amortization amount of the long-term uh, bonds. Uh, that means you're going to get that interest payment, uh, interest expense, or interest expense, uh, discount amortization or premium amortizations, and the carrying um, balance of that long-term bond. Okay, so you can get all these three numbers from your calculators. Um, interest payment you don't need to get from calculator, although it's the same based on the face value and the state interest rate. Okay, now we're going to start with this example that uh, bomb has a face value, one hundred thousand, and it was issued at a discount. Okay, and the coupon rate stated was nine percent, market rate is eleven percent, which is discount rate, and then the you know. Uh, the bounce pays annual payment, so the numbers of payments will be five uh, during the all five years term. Okay, now here we go. We got to start with the calculation for the most basic one. Uh, we're going to you know tell the calculate everything about the strong term bond before we can uh, calculate the amortization amount. And the best way to do it is to recalculate the present value. Now, once the calculate get the present value, then it gets all the information about the long term bond. Okay, so here we started with. Um, well, numbers of payments. Okay, so we start with f five, and then press N. That's the numbers of payments, and then we start it with the face value one hundred thousand. One hundred thousand, and you can put a negative just to you know make sure that okay, you can know that was the you know cash offer. Okay, and then you can input the payment, which is the nine thousand dollars cash offer put a negative as well and then that one was payment and what else we need to do oh interest rate okay 11 percent interest rate annual interest rate okay now we get everything when you can do compute prison value here we go uh, 92,608 dollars okay so it's easy with this card now uh, what you can do to get the f amortization amount information for the first year which is the balance, amortization amount, and the uh, interest expense calculated based on the effect interest rate eleven percent. Okay, so here's going to do. You're going to use the amortization key on the calculators. See this one, A M R T. That is your amortization key. Okay, so you press this amortization key. It showed up the screens asking you for amortization P one. That P one means the payment one, right? When you calculate amortization, you can tell the calculator during which period you're calculating the amortization. The P1 means the you know the beginning of the amortization period. Okay, that means the first payment. If you want to get that first year, okay, that means that is your beginning payment, and then you only want to calculate one period. Okay, so the payment two is also the first payment. Okay, so if you want to calculate the you know the total of interest expenses over two period times, you can put this one as two, but you know right now the purpose of us calculation is to get just one year. Okay, so we can just put um, P one as one, P two as P, and then we will do, and then you press down. It's starting to show you the balance at the end, after at the end of the first period, which is after the, yeah after the first payment and first amortization. Okay. Ninety-three seven hundred eighty-five. That is what it showed up on the screen, and then they call it balance. Okay, and then you press the second, uh, second times the down arrow key shows, uh, principle which is actually the amortization amount. Okay, so that is this one on the manual calculator schedule. That is the discount amortization. Okay, one thousand one hundred and eighty-seven. I mean, this is some outing arrows here. It says one hundred, one thousand, yeah, one thousand one hundred and eighty-six point nine. Okay, and then there was one more number you wanted to go. That is the inches. Okay, so how much is the inches? That is the inches payment. Okay, ten thousand one hundred and eighty-seven. Okay, ten thousand one hundred and eighty-six point nine. Right, this is some outing arrows there. So you get all three numbers. Okay, so if you ask me, how am I get going to get that? Um, amortization amount for the second period okay that's easy we can just do that you go back you press back back to the amortization period okay remember P1 to you the beginning okay so now we're going to calculate the second one so we're going to put 2 there so you press 
2 and then you press enter so the calculate note all the study with the 2 and then you're going to calculate you know the end of the second period so you're going to put a 2 for the P2 and then you press enter okay now you can see the balance at the end of the second amortization period which is 95,000 okay uh, 95,000 and you press one more time and you see that is the amortization for the second period okay amortization for the second period and then you press one more it was gives you the interest payment okay interest expense for the second period interest for the second period see this one okay so I'm just going to do one more for the you know this you know the fourth period maybe so that's easy you start it with you press 4 and you press enter and then you go back p1 and you press 4 press enter okay so and then you move down uh, it's starting to show you the interest payment at the four at the end of the fourth period or the uh, balance of the ca carrying uh, carrying balance of long-term bonds at the end of the fourth period 98,000 98,000 right okay and then you press the uh, that gives you amortization okay and then you press one more time it gives you the interest payment okay uh, which is a little bit kind of weird in this case because it gets to the next here because this is already already at the end of period. Okay, so you gotta watch out for this. Okay, it gets next here, but the number is still right. Okay, the number is still right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's what we had. Um, uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, that's what we have. Uh, I'm going to post another video to show you how to calculate the MP, uh, like the discovery uh, if there was not given for the questions. Okay, so check out the second video then.